Hi, I am Dan, and welcome to Polar Currency Sidebar Friday's video number 53, South Africa Banknote Strap Fail. This is one of the things that I never think about that's different in the U.S. than outside of the U.S. Anyway, the oldest daughter got married. Great, a son-in-law. Because the only thing worse for a father than a boyfriend is a son-in-law. Let's just say the threat of physical violence doesn't work anymore. The happy couple was going to go to South Africa for their honeymoon, and I thought of an idea. I could do my first strap search ever with South African banknotes. That's correct. I've never searched a strap in my life. It's just not my deal. But since the happy couple was going to the bottom of the world, I figured, why not? The search certainly wasn't going to cost very much. As of March 2024, the exchange rate was 1890 Rand for one U.S. dollar. So a strap of 110 rands would be just about 53 bucks. I also asked if they could pick up a set of uncirculated notes. The rand is issued by the South African Reserve Bank, or SARB, and recently upgraded their Mandela Series banknotes in 2023 with new and enhanced security features. Of course I had to find out what changed. The Mandela Series was first issued beginning in 1992. Named after Nelson Mandela, the first person elected in a fully representative democratic election for South Africa, and not to mention an iconic world leader. The 1992 series replaced a very traditional design that had the portrait of Jan van Riebeek, who's considered the founder of South Africa in 1652. He was only there for 10 years, so I guess we better put his likeness on banknotes dating back to 1948. And I thought that the U.S. currency didn't have a lot of creativity. At least we have seven different dead guys on our notes. The 2023 Mandela series background had a major design change, but it still looks almost like the same banknote. The main obvious visual modification is on the reverse. The previous issue only had one adult animal on South Africa's big five animals for the main reverse vignette. The new back now has what the SARB refers to as the big five family, which means a baby was added. Cute's not really in my vocabulary, but come on, what else can you say? And besides that, there were multiple security element changes. Dynamic movement was added to the interwoven color-changing security thread along with changing the symbol and text on the thread. South Africa uses it for all of their denominations. The front lower right metallic denomination was replaced with the featured animal and became a spinning circle hologram. And since we're on really cool and creative security features, I have to show how the SARB incorporated microprinting into the design, and it wasn't just text. You'll see an illustrated feature animal microprinted as part of the background. The green 10 with the rhinoceros. The tan 20 depicts an elephant. The magenta 50 has the lion. The blue 100 uses the water buffalo, not a bison. And the orange red 200 portrays a leopard. The front large lower center denomination also uses micropinning inside the denomination. It's incredible quality with the detail is how clear the printing is, especially when compared to the size of a U.S. cent. The Mandela series was over a decade old and the SARB gave it an overhaul. I mean, what country would, oh, I, I don't know, go almost 70 years without a major redesign? Oh, oh yeah, back to the point of the video my South African strap search. I'm sure you're all shocked that I basically just had a sidebar in a sidebar video. Well, here's what happened. Well, Dad, they didn't have new banknotes and they didn't have the strapped brand new ones, but we did get circulated ones with the babies. Um, best we could do. They did actually go to three banks in Cape Town and struck out on every one. No uncirculated currency and no straps of banknotes. In South Africa, turns out that you have to pre-order your bank straps and it takes two to three business days to get them. They were directed by the bank tellers to use the cash machine for cash. I had to confirm this internationally, so I called Joe from the coin box, who lives in Mexico, and he confirmed, yep, you have to wait. Thanks, Joe, and congrats, and I hope your new baby and the family are doing well. I also confirmed with a currency collector from Norway. Hakan from Norway literally reached out to me while I was writing this video. So yeah, I asked him. He said the same thing. Thanks Hakan, I certainly appreciated the assist. 
And to my original point in taking something for granted in the U.S., here we can walk into almost any bank and get a strap of any denomination, and I'm including $2 bills. Maybe that's why we have so many bank robberies in the U.S. Apologies if you were expecting a strap search. I, I did say it was a fail. But the newlyweds had a great time traipsing around Cape Town, South Africa, and did manage to bring me back a few notes, circulated or otherwise. I'm happy to have them. But my first and only attempt at a strap search was a bust. But I did learn a lot about South African banknotes. That's it for Sidebar Fridays and video number 53, my South Africa banknote strap fail. We'll see you in a week. If you like what you see, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for checking in.